Welcome to another video tutorial here at Vitality. Today we're going to show you how to set up a Digium SwitchVox system with Vitality SIP trunks. Now we're using SwitchVox version 4.5, but the instructions are going to be the same for newer versions as well, so you don't have to worry about that. And what we're going to do is create two trunks. We're going to create an inbound trunk and an outbound trunk. This is going to make sure that your calls route properly and that you don't have any problems. First thing we need to do is go to our Vitality portal and create the inbound and outbound trunks. And we do this in the sub accounts section. So a sub account is going to create the SIP credentials that are going to be used for the SwitchVox system to log in and authenticate with the system. So here I've already created a in and an out trunk, and you have to make sure that your DIDs that are going to be assigned to that account are assigned to the PBX in or your inbound trunk. Now you can change these, you can make them whatever name you want. I'm just doing this as an example. So once I have my sub accounts and my DIDs routed, it's time to go over to SwitchVox. I'm going to go to System Setup. I'm going to go to VoIP Providers. Now one thing that's going to make doing this a lot easier is to do the outbound trunk first. And I'll explain why as we get going here, but I'm just going to go ahead and create my outbound trunk. I'll put in my outbound trunk credentials. And for my outbound, I'm always going to use outbound.vitality.net. Now the callback extension is where calls are going to go by default. Uh, we're not going to use that on an outbound trunk, but we have to have something in there anyway. Then we're going to go to advanced options, change the host type from provider to peer. That's going to be very important for the outbound trunk here to make sure. So make sure that that's set on peer. We're not going to change that on the inbound route. We'll add that SIP provider. The reason why we do the outbound route first is because that's going to set up all the outgoing rules. If we did the inbound route first and then added the outbound trunk, we'd have to go through and edit all this. So make sure you set that outbound route first. All your outbound rules are now already set up to use that outbound trunk. Now let's set up the inbound trunk. And we'll go to VoIP providers again. We'll add a SIP provider. We'll call this one inbound. Now, for the host name, we need to check and make sure that we're using the correct host name. So again, on our sub accounts page at the very top, it tells us what our register server and outbound server are. So in our case, we're using inbound 27. This is different for different customers, so make sure that you have the correct information there. Callback extension again, I'm just gonna give it a default. We don't need to do any of the advanced options and we can add that SIP provider. Now, as soon as this completes, we can now go to Diagnostics, go to our system status, and we can see that our inbound trunk is registered. Our outbound trunk is not registered, which is why we turn, change that from provider to peer, which is exactly what we want for those outbound calls. So that's all there is to it, to setting up a Digium SwitchVox system with Vitality SIP trunks. Make sure you do that outbound route first and it'll save you a lot of time in configuring those outbound rules. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.